Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Special day today, guys. I got a present. I got a present from actually one of you. A uh, guy named Sean, Sean D. Uh, he sent me this racket. Uh, it's actually an H22. Uh, he kind of gave me the backstory on it. He believes by doing his extensive research that it could have belonged to Tennis Sandgren. So I, I looked at this racket and I've been looking at it for a couple days now. He actually sent me some uh, pictures of Tennis uh, Sandgren holding this racket up where you could see the lead on the sides, like here and then on this side here, right? Uh, Tennis Sandgren always puts lead in these two spots, right? Uh, Sean purchased this racket online uh, off of eBay. So uh, he paid a pretty penny for it, but uh, he wanted me to have it because I, I, you know, I've only strung hundreds of these, but I've never actually played with them because these are pro stock. You know, for those of you who don't know, these are pro stock and they only give these to the pros. These are special make rackets that are um, exclusively made for uh, tennis professionals. Like regular people uh, cannot order these. You can only get them from the secondary market if let's say a player retires or are no longer using that cosmetic, um, you know, they wind up online somewhere. But special day. H22 by Wilson here. This is the 16 by 19 pattern, right? As you can see, look, let, let's take a look at how the strings are configured, right? It is a 16 by 19 pattern, as I said, but look at how they're tighter in here on the mains. And as they spread further out, they get further and further apart right you don't see that in a regular blade and this last cross is pretty low so it's kind of an even an even distribution of the strings in this racket kind of coming together a little tighter in the, the t form like right in here right so let's take a look at a standard blade right let's take a look at that versus that I'm gonna put it down on the ground so maybe you can get a better contrast with it. And I don't know about you, but the H22 looks rounder. Whereas the, uh, the non H22 looks more oval. It could be the color. But to, me, to my eye, it's rounder. This H22 looks rounder to me, right? So th this is not this, even though it looks like an older Blade V6, right? I've actually seen this racket uh, look like a burn, right? I've seen this racket look like a Pro Staff. Um, I've seen this racket look like those special make burns, you know, with the, with the stripes on it that they claim are supposed to be light. I've seen players like Tim Smichek and Tiafo, who used to be with Wilson, bring this racket into me and have it strung. So I've even strung Tennis Sandgren's before uh, when it was all black with the green lines on it, when it was, you know, the older blade, but they were always this racket, the H22 in the 16 by 19, but I've never got a chance to play with it, right? I've only got, I strung it and send them back out, right? But when I first saw these, uh, when I first started stringing, I was like, that is not a blade, right? That has to be some special make. Uh, so, um, thank you, Sean, for sending me this uh, uh, H22. So I'm going to 
balance. Like he wanted me to balance and weigh it for him too because he was curious. I guess he has a ton of these. So he sent me this one. Um, so I'm gonna balance, weigh, and analyze, okay? I even might play with it, all right? Hang tight. The other thing is, uh, Sean was telling me that this is a full bed of Luxalon ALU power. Tennis Sangren uses that string. Uh, so that, I mean, a lot of people do, but you know, with the lead tape and the ALU, uh, that's, you know, that's two that we can put back to Sangren, okay? So let's, let's take a look at this racket um, a little more closely. So the other thing that I was admiring about the racket was that it does have a shiny coat to it. Like it kind of glistens, right? Like a regular blade doesn't glisten like this. The, the black stands out more, the green stands out more, right? It, it, it's, it seems to shine like a star, right? So why do they do that? I'm guessing for television. When, or, or for the people in the stands, when you make the, the colors more vibrant, you know, the green just stands out more, the black stands out more, you know that's the star, you know that's the blade, right? Um, so the, yeah, I was like, oh, that's a great straight, you know, paint job there, right? I mean, look, you can tell he scrubbed over here it's pretty worn out up here right into the head guard here yeah so th this has pretty good wear so my guess is um you know this is the old v6 paint job so he's probably on to the new uh v7 already but still h22 racket okay so Sean told me that he put this on because he actually used it um, and because it was shipped to him without a grip. So that may change uh, certain things about it, but I don't know if, if, if Sandgren actually uses a leather grip with a pro overgrip around it, but this is what we have to play with. Now, uh, I'm gonna check under the butt cap to see what we can find. I'll bet there's a, I'll bet there's silicone under here. Yep, look at that. There's silicone under there. Does it go all the way through? Oh, wait, oops. So there's silicone, oh wait, there's not silicone there, that is, the standard foam, the silicone's on this side though, but it's like a hard silicone. I've never seen that before. Like that is literally hard, hard silicone. Usually the silicone I uh, mess with, it's still kind of soft, but you know, this could be silicone that's just hardened over time, but that's solid. That's real solid. Like, do you hear that? Do you hear that? I can't get through that. This side is just, you know, styrofoam pretty much. But yeah, it looks like just that side right there. So that's the second pro's racket that I've seen that they only injected the silicone on the one side. Um, I think it was either Joker's racket or Murray's racket that they did the same thing. So they left one chamber uh, alone and then dug out the other side uh, you know which is interesting to me huh all right so let's uh let's mess with the racket okay, let's see where it balances at Seven. 327 on the balance.
All right, let's hit the scale. All right, at the scale. Three thirty-six. Three, four, two. So let's go ammo wise. So what did we come up with? So the, the weight of that H22, even with the lead on it, is 336 grams. That's kind of on the light side for uh, most people on the ATP tour, right? Because if you think about it, this Fed racket, this Fed racket unstrung is 340 right so my guess is they standardized that uh, h22 because it's about 11 ounces 11.1 11 .1 ounces before strings so they basically let the pros customize however they want to if they want it heavier they just add the lead um you know maybe plug up that other side of the butt cap and add and counterweight it in the in the butt cap too so um i'm guessing it's just a standard type of racket pro stock for the pros in which they can kind of do what they want to with it uh, with their own kind of customization so the balance that's pretty standard in most of these rackets swing weight uh, yeah, I got feds at about 346. So that's kind of right in line with uh, swing weight. Now, the big number is 57, which is what that racket flexes at. Most rackets don't flex that, you know, that, that much. Because <laughs> 57 is pretty much unheard of on, uh, on any racket on this wall. I mean, we're talking pro tour, 280 Thomas Mooster flexibility here uh, with that head racket from back in the day. Uh, if you guys know what I'm talking about. But yeah, that is a special, special makeup that's a very, very flexible racket. All right, so I'm going to try to go out and play with this racket uh, and see if I'm worthy. I don't think I am, but uh, I'll give you a report. So, my thoughts of the H22. Very, very surprising. I actually liked the way it played. It had that hollow Wilson feel that I am accustomed to. Um, if you guys have ever felt the hollow feel of the Wilsons that don't have countervail or any other BS stuff that they put in it to dampen it, that's how this feels. It feels like a racket that has feel, right? Not the dampening BS, uh, like, like you have 20 dampeners on the thing and the stupid material. Um, this is a real racket. You feel everything. Like there is vibration. If you hit the sweet spot on this, you will feel good. If you miss the sweet spot on this, you will know. So that's why I love the old school feel of these type of rackets, because you know when you hit it well. Um, this racket, on the RA, this says 57. In my opinion, it felt a little firmer than that. It, it felt more like a 61 to a 63. I'm sure that the lead had something to do with it because when i was coming forward on those shots it actually took over when i hit it right it took off right uh, but i mean there's not a lot of bad things i can say about this racket uh, i would definitely play with this racket 
if, if I could get my hands on these. So thank you very much, Sean, for giving me this thing. I mean, this is the first time ever I played with an H22. So I hope you guys can get a shot at playing with an H22 someday. Um, you got to know somebody on tour, though, to get one of these. Definitely felt the 342 come through. That's the one major thing that I liked about this racket, aside from that feel. So uh, I'm sure, you know, the balance number, the weight, I mean, all these three numbers are less without that lead. Um, and I think they do that on purpose because it gives you room for customization to see how that particular player wants that to feel or, or wants that to be weighted or balanced or swing weighted. So I think that's why they keep it kind of neutral on the slightly higher end of the scale in terms of weight so that you can you know, make it however you want it to be made. So that's my review of this incredible racket, the Wilson H22 uh, Pro Stock. So shout out to uh, Sean D. Thank you for shipping me this racket. Shout out to Ulysses Lopez for buying me a beer. If you want to send me anything or buy me a beer or support the channel, uh, check out my about page. Um, all the info you need is right there. All right. Thanks for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis.